Hi everyone, welcome to channel Cikgu Ahu. Today, I would like to teach chapter 1, Patterns and Sequences. Subtopic 1.1, Patterns. Before I start my lessons, don't forget to give my video a thumbs up, subscribe my channel, and ring the bell so that you will get notifications when I upload new video. Let's start the class. Let's have a look on the learning standards. 1.1.1 Recognize and describe patterns of various number sets and objects based on real-life situations and hence make generalizations on patterns. What is pattern? How is a pattern in a list of number obtained from? How is a pattern in objects obtained from? Can you all see the patterns on the mask I'm holding on it? What is the patterns? Can you all see it? Look at the picture that shows the patterns on the some traditional Malaysian fabric. What patterns do you see? How are the arrangements of the patterns like? The pattern scenes are repetitions of a polygon. Look at the object. What is the pattern you can observe? A rectangle, a triangle, a rectangle, a triangle. What is the object come next? Predict the fifth pattern without drawing, then describe the patterns. Let's look at the answer. What do you think? For the fifth patterns, rectangle or a triangle? Yes, that is a rectangle come next. Therefore, we can write out the patterns by add a rectangle to the previous object. Let's look at another example. Look at the numbers. What is the patterns you can observe? 5, 10, 15, 20. So, what is the number come next? Predict the fifth number, then describe the patterns. So, what is the number come next? Do you know the answer? Can you see the patterns? Yes, the number come after 20 is 25. Can you describe the patterns? Yes, 5 to the previous number. Very good. Well done. Therefore, we can make a conclusion that patterns are list of numbers or objects arranged based on a rule or design. Let's look at other examples. Determine the patterns for the following sequence. For questions A, 6, 12, 18, 24, and 30. How is the pattern? Yes, the pattern is at 6. We can see 6 at 6 or 6 plus 6 is equal to 12. So we try for the next number. If 12 plus 6, can we get 18? Yes, if plus 6, we can get 18. Okay, do this for the following numbers. Okay, so the following number also at 6. Okay, 24 plus 6 also 30. Therefore, we can write out the patterns by add 6 to the previous number. For the next questions, 84, 74, 64, 54 and 44. Observe the sequence. Is it ascending or descending? Yes, it is in descending order. Okay, when it is in descending order, means that the value is decreasing. From 84 to 74, what is the difference between the two numbers? So 84 minus 74, we notice that the pattern actually is minus Work on it. Second number. 
Is it 74 minus 10? Can we get 64? Yes. When 74 minus 64, we can get 54. Okay. Therefore, we can see the patterns or the sequence, which is subtract 10 from the previous number. Another question. C. 4 of 36, 108. And 324. What is the patterns? Observe the sequence. Find out the patterns. Okay. So for from 4 to get 12, how we get 12? Yes, we can multiply by 3 to get 12. So we try it out. 4 times 3 or 4 multiply 3, we get 12. Okay. We try on the next consecutive terms. Is it 12 times 3? We can get 36. Yes, we can get 36. 36 times 3, we get 108. Okay, 108 multiplied by 3, we can get 324. Therefore, we can write out the pattern which is multiply the previous number by 3. Okay? Another example, 256, 128, 64, 32, and 16. Okay, so for this sequence, we can see the numbers. The value is decreasing. Okay, so when decreasing, when the sequence is decreasing, it's impossible to be add or multiply. Okay, when add or multiply, the number is getting bigger. When the number is getting smaller or the value is decreasing, either that is a, 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 a divide or that is subtract. Okay, so from 3, 256, we can get 128. So, this is divided by, okay, how we get 128 will become 64. Yes, it's divided by 2 as well. Okay, therefore, we can make a conclusion that the pattern is divide the previous number by 2. Let's look at another type of questions. Okay, complete the patterns for each of the following objects. The question is, the object given for the first one is triangle, then followed by rectangle, pentagon, so what is the object come next? Can you all see the patterns? Yes. The object come next is hexagon. Why? As you can see, the first object is a triangle, which is three sides. Followed by the second object is a rectangle, which is four sides. And the next one is a pentagon, which is five sides. So the next one is a hexagon which is six sides. Let's look at another example. Okay, that's given two squares. The next one is four square, and for the next one is a six square. Can you all see the patterns? So, what is the object come next? Yes, the object come next will be six squares. Okay, the next one, FL. So, what is FL? FL is assess for learning. Okay, assess yourself whether you can understand the content that I delivered just now. If you are understand, this is understand. Okay, this is so-so. While the thumbs down is completely not understand. Okay, so write yourself whether you are understand, so-so or not understand that the content that I deliver just now. That's all for my lesson today. Stay tuned for my next video, which is odd number, even number, Pascal triangle, and Fibonacci number. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe my channel. See you soon. Bye.